They were. Uh, that's what I thought. The atmosphere in them two games was brilliant. Last night it was tremendous. Yeah, it was great. It was last night. But tomorrow, tomorrow I'll be better at Aberdeen because I think it's the first time any bands have been to Aberdeen ever. So. Yeah, there was one of the lads saying that. Uh, Actually, I think the Stone Houses played there once back in 1987. One of the lads was saying it was so hard to get to, you know. Aberdeen? Yeah. It's fucking Aberdeen, isn't it? It's just like. Fucking just Yeah, it's just full of things you make soup out of, isn't it, man? Would you mind? <laughs> giving me an autograph, please? Would yeah. you mind? Take a quick look, just in case I've watched any of the What? If not? Are you? No, not. <laughs> <laughs> You might not. I assume that's why he's sitting here. You see, right. special I'm service you're offering. I'm receptionist, there, mate. Right? You're the new receptionist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's stress, though, isn't it? Absolutely. Can I help you, sir? That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Your room is down there to the left. She reckons she's boxed all these more. I probably are. You are Can you kill me? I wouldn't dream of doing such a thing. Yeah, I just drove you too. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So you're planning to play in, in Germany, in Hamburg? November. Oh, November. In November? Yeah. So I should make sure to be there then. I would, I would, I would, I would make sure to be there if I was there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to make sure and try and be there. I've missed an Oasis kick for five years, me now. <laughs> it's fair enough, Yeah. I could miss a couple. Yeah. But, um, you know where you're playing now? I'm not sure. If, if it's Hamburg, it's going to be somewhere fucking enormous. The biggest place in the city, I would imagine. Somewhere. Biggest place? Yeah, the Football big stadium. The, the big Haller. <laughs> yeah, there's only this one. I don't, I don't even have to play in Hamburg too far. I'm just probably definitely not playing in November. Can I approach nicely for your uh, signature, yeah. sir? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be last to find out. <laughs> I don't know fuck all about fuck all. <laughs> don't ask, that's the best one. Yeah, I'm sure it does look good. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I think we've got off down at <laughs> southern, southern Europe. Italy, Spain. She's a fucking mental down there, man. Absolutely. Yeah, there was, there's been a few wins in Ashley that say uh, the foreigners can't actually get like, tickets for over here. And like the Brits can get like. Any amount of tickets they want for like the foreign games. Yeah, well that's what we've got big fucking what's it, big uh, what's what we call big ticket touting yeah. fucking ring out that goes over there and just buys all the tickets and brings them back in and people just yeah. get coached to it. I mean, I mean I mean that's why you never see no Spaniards in the queue outside the old court, you know what I mean? But you see like loads of my kids in the queue buying tickets that are gigging in Madrid because they can sell them to English people. Yeah. So, so what are you going to play up there, yeah? I don't know how long it's going to take. This must be a nightmare just going in hotels. Well, some fucking twat in the band has booked you out on a late flight, so I can't wait to find out who that is, because you've got to take care of it and get out of fucking bed. Well, who's that? Fucking one band has thick hair. That's his piss, man. It's fucking wild, can't yeah, yeah. We were already booked on a late flight. No, we Maggie told me one of the bank booked and put everyone on a late flight. So that's my story and I'm fucking sticking to it anyway because I'm in a bad mood now. Yeah. But how long is the flight, Rob? It's 50 minutes. No, it's not. Yes, yeah, 50 minutes. Is it, a, is, it one of, is it a crop duster? It's a crop duster. <laughs> is it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't like flying the best of times, but it's the best of the propellers going around. Oh, that bird can't even go on the bloody arse, and it's a great sweetie, do you know what I mean? But it must be written in his contract before he signs for a club that he can't play away for long, because oh, that's otherwise he'd just put him on the plane, wouldn't he? It's shocking, isn't it? He just can't do it. Did you get the, uh, the match commentary on last night at the back or something? Uh, yeah, we had a TV or so, we're watching Newcastle, it was a great game. It's a like 3-0 3-2 You'd have had a lot of players down, wouldn't you? It was, it was quite good, actually, because... Uh, well, they came down the night before, I, all, think, I believe. All the Borough players were on the, uh, the seat in the loose, weren't they? So that right. was really good, because uh, they ate the Jordans, so, <laughs> as you do.
But uh, yeah, well, uh, and they're on about Rav as well. They're getting rid of him. He's coming back today, though, can't he? He's going to Racing Milan on Thursday, apparently. Around what? Six million, whatever. So, I think we'll probably get another one in Barbie. Whatever. We got rid of him, didn't we? So, uh, what do you think of Rosser? Is he going to stay on one? Well, it's good. Yeah. They're going to swap him for Barbie, for Rosser. Well, the Barber's Barber's been dropped. Oh, yeah. He might end up with us. Yeah. It's a big, big result for us, really. Because Everton are after Rav as well, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, you must get very bored of this. Let's say that for my son, Tommy. Thanks so much, Okay, Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, I thought it was coming to a peaceful hotel. Eh? Okay, I thought it was coming to a peaceful hotel. You were going to trash the gaff when you got off. You look like Preston, mate. We're going to shoot a few players now. Nice one. Trash shooting pigeons, mate. Yeah. Found one, Joe. Sorry, can I come in as well? I'm very much indeed. Jeez. I don't know if you this when you Yeah. No, I don't want to get a cutlass. Alright, thank you. Hey, how do you Shooting clear pigeons in the afternoon. But I can't understand why you just don't want to shoot pigeons. It's enough of a bastard, isn't it? Pretty pheasant out there, actually. I can't shoot them, though. They're posh pigeons, see? You can only shoot the working class. Pigeons with the corn. Oh, yes, you can only shoot the grey working class ones. Pigeons with the corn, yeah. See, he's a bit left handed, like you, isn't he? No, no, I Yeah. Play right handed, though, but. Yeah, I've not noticed that. But, uh, you yeah, can't fucking spell out with dyslexic. Yeah. <laughs> bit of a spazzing for playing guitar. Keep on, Keep on. So, your mum can't see any of the gigs. She's coming tomorrow. She's coming she? tonight, actually. Do you have a team? Yeah, fucking hell. What's she want there? She's a piss, isn't she? I'm a piss with the lads. She was, she, she was going to come to Sheffield, but she's, she's getting that excited. She can't wait, apparently. So she's she's coming up to Aberdeen a, a day early. <laughs> just, just to get the drink, and I'm going up there. Jones was just saying, he said, uh, give Noel me love and uh, tell him I'm going to Tash. He's going to Tash, he's sacked. That's what he's saying. What are your calls, I think? There's no fucking Tashes, man. Right? Yeah, Tashes in this band. <laughs> Beards are alright. You can have a tash if you've got a beard attached to it, but not, not a tash on its own. Is Mark and Paul here with you? Is Mark and Paul here with you? Mark. Mark who? Mark the. Uh, Mike. Is it Mike? Mike, yeah, it's Mike. No, Mike. Uh, this also is books, so they're, they're staying in some fucking school. We have something. No. Fair enough. But I think they prefer staying with the crew because it's a bit more lively than the crew. Obviously, I'm, I'm booking out of these hotels. So I want to stay with the crew because it's fucking boring sitting in these country houses and all this shit. You're not taking four bloody trumpeters around the world, are you, as well, are you? Absolutely, yeah. Just play, just play on half of one song. <laughs> yeah. They've got top gig, man. They just fucking sit in the room like two hours a night. Like, you know what I mean? It's like in, in 48 hours they play a total of eight minutes of music. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no, I thought you'd just drag them in, you know, from like each each room. You know. <laughs> the other guys who were in the band, the commitments in the film. Oh, yeah, they're Irish lads. None of you shy, like proper proper musicians, like proper. <laughs> proper. <laughs> they're proper. Same. Yeah, good. So, well, I'll tell you what they know. Um, I'll start getting a bit cheeky, can I? Hmm. Um, what do you want me to do? Do you wash it up? Please? No, no, worse than that. <laughs> um, we've been talking about some funding for this magazine. Oh, yeah. Any ideas where to go to? I'd, well, if I was you, I'd ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that was the roundabout way of uh, getting how to How much do you want? How much do you need? I don't say how much do I want. Did I just say that? You did how just say need? that, yeah. You gave me 400 quid the other week, so I mean, it was like... Uh, well, how much do you need? Um, are you happy with it? Yeah, it's fucking top, yeah. I've got them all, man. I've got them all now. I've got them all twice now. <laughs> it's got not spec- really, but he's not really happy. <laughs> <not really. laughs> <laughs> Did you read that Beatles I just, read, I just read the first one, back to, that one just up there, I just read that, back to front. Did you get that, uh, well, you got now, else to do, haven't you? I know, yeah. Um, yeah did you get the Beatles one that I sent you? Unlimited. Uh, I did, actually. Is it one, one with I'll, I'll, I'll George Allison on the front? Yeah, I'm on. 
Anyway, um, I've probably got it in the stack. It in the stack. It's cost about two hundred quid to do monthly. Right. To do a basic one. Right. It's going to cost me about uh, to make a slightly better version, better quality paper right. than that. Be about two and a half thousand a month. No, a year. A year. Two and a half grand a year. That's I'll tell you what I do, when you get back to where, wherever it is, you can ring Megan and I'll sort you check out. Yeah, sure. yeah, you have to write down on paper what it's all done for and all that, because my account... Well, well I, can, I can document it yeah. to the, the thing, I mean, there's no... Um, it's just production. Um, yeah, just write it all down and fa fax it to Megan Shilbert. She can fax it back up to me and then sort like that. You are right, yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, you fucking providing a service, mate, innit? you? You see? Well, <laughs> as I said, mate, you were the inspiration. <laughs> um, no, it's, uh, like I say, I really want to keep going. I mean, the only thing I was worried about initially is not only your blessing, but really like Mark's, isn't that, you know? I'm not the time yet. But, uh, I'm in charge of this shit, mate. I know, but it's so tight getting uh, I know, but yeah, well, yeah, well, no, but I've managed to cook them, I like that. I think, although I have been overtly paranoid about everything that's ever fucking Well, they are, yeah. That, that's the kind of the impression you get, like, but... Uh, oh, yeah, they are, they are paranoid, but, you know. I mean, I don't know why, but... They go and it's like the manager's the manager, they're supposed to be paid to be paid, aren't they? Yeah. People in the balance are paid to be laid back, fucked up, pissed all the time. Yeah. Well, no, if you put it down on paper, they're going to set that. Are you sure you're alright now? Yeah, obviously. Because that would be like a year. Yeah. 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 He's pretty really satisfied and, you know, whatever. Like I said, put it all in it, put it all in it, yeah. make it better yeah. and all that stuff. Well, Marcus won't get it and yeah. clean it up, yeah. Well, there you go. You don't dress it to Marcus, do you? Just send, send it to me. Right, all right. But I have to show my account. What do you say? Not all the shit with the cameras and all that. Fucking nonsense. That's one of the shit things about being in a band, it's like fucking, it's, it's great until it's great until you fucking, you know, it's great until you become successful and then you spend most of the time sat on tables with twats and going and going like that. What did, what did you just say? They start talking about fucking figures this and this, that and all that. But do you get involved in that much? I mean, is it like... No, you've got to look after your fucking name. I mean, well, I suppose you've got to take some interest in it because the other people get shafted by the managers and all the rest of it. Fucking boring, it's fucking got an angle yeah. sitting there with all the geezers in suits going, well, what I advise is men of your position you like that? Talking English, son, yeah. Yeah, so I just want to play guitar. Yeah. Can't, can't you just give me some money and I can go and I can spend it on fingers? Yeah. And then, like, you just not, like, rip me off. <laughs> doesn't work like that. doesn't work like that, does it, see? No. You can choose your account, though, I mean, and then... I just, well... They, they can be as... Uh, oh, well, I don't know, well, you just go for the, the, the most, the, the biggest one in the business. Oh, but you can choose account, so I suppose it's not good. Not they were brilliant, Lee, you weren't seeing. Oh, yeah, they were fucking oh, awesome, weren't God. they? Yeah. The show, I mean, it was, yeah. the, was, it, was it loud enough where you were? Yeah. Well, it wasn't... It wasn't all of them. No, it wasn't, I mean, wasn't that bad. We heard it. Right. We heard it. Right. It, it looked, it certainly looked fantastic. Yeah. It's off. Yeah. Oh, is it raining as well? Chris, Chris... The thin bags, oh, oh, shit. I mean, it was just like... Chris actually said that, uh you said about halfway through, didn't you? It was a, like a shape of a trolley in the screen. Yeah, that's what it was, yeah, shop and trolley. Well, I thought it was a bit of like roller coaster at the start, yeah. No, it's a shop and trolley. It's like a door <laughs> thing, wasn't it, you know? But there you go. The Ryan and Buddy Northern. Yeah, it looks, it looks, it looks brilliant, though. It's it? class, yeah. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Is it, uh, it's got to do like shit loads of all stuff as well. Have you heard your tips from there? Uh, from there? Uh, you might give them No, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I'm afraid not. I've got a couple in the house if you want. Have you? Any good? The, I think one of the nights, it misses the first two songs out. Right. Um, Where'd you get all this stuff from, aren't they? Well, I have no idea. That, that came from Latin America. Right. Um, so you must have been in the audience for one of them. Right. Um, but the sound quality is quite good. Is it? Yeah. So yeah, I'd like to hear that. I mean, I mean, we take every show we do on multi-track anyway. We have done for the past three or four years now. Just because when, you know, when it comes to doing like a live album, and that, because, I mean, you know, you know bands who say, right, we're going to do a live album, and they take, they take out a great big fucking studio for, like, for one tour, and say they do six gigs, and all six gigs of shit, yeah. it's just like, it's, 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 it's a bit of a mystery, really. so we, we, we've had a, we've had a little, a little studio come out with us for about three and a half years now, so, so when we get to do a live album, we won't be doing, like, one from 
one particular gig, it'll be like a double album of from, from stuff from like 1990s, yeah. 1995, right the way through to whenever it comes so out. So who's keeping all that in there? Who's got all that gear? Oh, we've got it all, it's all out. Don't you, don't you get, like, tape it all? I know, because it, well, it's, well, it's, well, it's all on multi-track, so it's not mixed, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah. it just, like, goes in the vaults, and then when, when, when we get that on it one day, I'll sit down and start. I mean, it'll, it'll probably take about two or three years to go through yeah. all the stuff, but it'd be good once to sit. Sit somewhere, listen to all them old gigs again. Yeah. So, yeah, I think and then it'll be actually better, listen, the early ones, won't it? Yeah, see, yeah, it might as well. But it'll be, it'll be great to, to get, say, say you um, the live album, you get like Supersonic from the Cat House in Glasgow with about, yeah. with about 300 people clapping, and then, then, you, then as, as the album goes on, the crowds get bigger and the applause gets louder yeah. until, until, until you're that far away from the crowd that you can't hear any fucking applause at all. That's it, that's pretty nebulous, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, just looking for miles, maybe. Yeah, we actually did that, so we started doing it. We've got to start sitting in the editing of that, because we've been there as a film, actually. Yeah, like, so a bus stop, mm-hmm. like a bus stop type thing. It's not yeah. really, it's not really going to happen. Is it going to go cinema though? Yeah, no, but you that's going to be cinema. It's not really going to be the band performing, it's just going to be... So you'd be able, be able to, you'd be able to see the band from... But it's just, there was loads of people with cameras who were just in the, in the fields, there was just yeah. like just interviewing fans and stuff from like, from like three or four days before. Well, MTV did all that as well, didn't they? Yeah, they must have a lot of stuff. Yeah. Well, that's what we're doing. We're, so, we're, we're, we're buying all, all the footage from that for the TV stations and putting yeah. together documentaries. I've got to start sitting through that. So, so has anyone ever sat down and wrote a set list for each gig? Did it ever mean done? I mean, why yeah. hasn't been documented? Or? Well, it is. We keep all the set lists probably in the office, but we've been that busy. It's, you see, like we've got this, this file room, right, which is about it's about half the size of this, and it's just absolutely it's just files upon files upon files of. When I was in there the other day, and I'm looking through loads of DAT machines, and there's like they mean little DAT tapes, and I'm like. You know, definitely, maybe outtakes, instrumental outtakes, and like, you know, I, just, I mean, when I would document, I mean, we keep everything. I mean, it's like when we were in the studio, where somebody's job is to sit there with a DAT machine and keep a DAT running 24 hours a day and recording all the conversations that go on, and a mic in the controller and a mic in the live and recording every single conversation, every, every take of everything on DAT, just so that we've got it all. Just so that when well, she fucking Beatles on follows it was fuck all. And the age of Aces one's going to be proper, mate. It's going to be great. Com- do 30 great years, yeah, yeah. Fucking great conversations of the 90s, it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not bad. Fucking played that one. City yeah. versus Swindon. Yeah. November 96. Yeah. yeah great control room conversations, 1997. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, what? Skin away. What were the outtakes from uh, the new album then? Was there any stuff that you didn't use? Yeah, that's quite a bit. Is it? Yeah, there's a lot. Any songs that you didn't use? Yeah. There's about about three or four there. What are you doing? Yeah. Well, the B-sides of, uh, let me see, what we've got. Well, the B-sides for, the B-sides for Stand By Me were all outtakes from the album. Right. Uh, the B-sides from uh, all around the world were all sort of outtakes. We've still got out the scatter left, but I don't think we're going to use that now. I know you said that last time. I think we're going to keep that and do something, do something special with it. And, uh, well, it's all just like jamming, just, I mean, it's got so, so many fucking... I mean, what's going to put, because I've written a lot of two minute instrumental pieces, so we put them in between every track, but it would have been too long on the CD. But we've still got all that stuff. There's lots of stuff for me playing the piano on it, just like pissing about at 10 in the morning. What happened to that stuff that Liam played with the piano on the screen? Does it have anything to it, or what was it? It's a very African never, that never actually happened. It never happened? It never happened. Oh, well, that makes that issue a lot of good use then, does Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh, you've, got, you've, got, you've got to understand, you've got all private screen, right? One of our kids and five members of Canon in a, in a room, all of which can probably fucking shovel, shovel the amount of fucking drugs up the noses and fucking crumbs you could produce. They probably do actually believe that it happened, but believe me, I know they fucking do. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, that's the story of the initial Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Norman no, Drugs uh, use. Oh, there's a whole story. Yeah. Well, that would go on, haven't we? No, I mean, Arlene can't even play the piano, so if, if it did happen, it'd be dreadful to think what the thing is going for. But well, saying that, I mean, if I, if I, if I had all of the copies of Tate's Primal Scream Canon, one of the worst of them, they'd be fucking out by now. <laughs> Over Saturn. That's fair enough. Born it never bothers me, does he? You never let him. Get on stage and do it. Do what? Do the piano. No, I can, he's all like playing chord, I can actually piano play it. Yeah. I mean, there's an art to it, really. I mean, I can play piano, but when, when you see these guys play, them, it just goes. That guy looks quite good, actually. Chris is a piano player, aren't he? Like music oh, yeah? teacher and that, yeah. Really? 
Yeah. Uh, doing a bunch of scenes. Nicking off Stu. Nicking off Stu. 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 No, well, I do. I'm a master at the black bits. <laughs> the black bits are a fucking ninja master piano player. For a white one, and it all starts going a bit fucking mad. That's like being dark snow. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can go. I mean, I can do chords and go. But, um, but, I, but see, what I'm trying to get made is right, because I'm left handed. I automatically want to play the bass notes down here, and the high bits there. But I'm trying to get a, ba- a left handed piano made. You're going to be able to play that. Because like, 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 the bass notes has been with him and that. <laughs> See, that, that's just totally natural to me. So I was asking, I was asking George Martin, could he get a left-handed piano? He's going, oh no, because like the piano makers are really snobby and they wouldn't make the frame backwards for you. Why didn't you learn that way around with the guitar then? Why didn't you learn that way around the person? Because they're not making that many left-handed guitars in Burnage. You can't work. You can't work. You can't work. I mean, they had, they, had, they, had, they, had, they had like a music shop, but they didn't have any, any, anything approaching left-handed. I'm trying to teach you. Trying to teach me, yeah. Yeah, what did we get? I've got, got D and E so far. Yeah, we've got two cards. Start, that's what you need. Know. Another one, you're laughing. Start me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so well known singer. It says, yeah, once in an interview, yeah. Uh, uh-huh. Three chords, man. Yeah. That's it. So, what have we got? D and E? That's all you need. We've got a D and E, so. G, what, fuck, that's, that's the blues, mate, D, G, E. Oh, no, I'm probably fading. Mm. What, fading out now, can I? You know, G. Oh, that's a drop D, that one. That, that's hard, that. That F, I found that I struggled with, yeah. really, didn't I? That F, it didn't matter. Yeah. I've got my fingers, so... Our bar cards, we took me in years to learn bar Yeah. And then once, 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 once you can get one, you like it. You can do easy, G, can't you? Easy, yeah. One finger on the top string. Yeah. <laughs> you can do a C. But, uh, yeah. So we're just, like, on the Burt Whedon at the moment, aren't we? <laughs> Play. 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 So. Time to leave it. Have you got all your stuff ready? <laughs> yeah, since it's about fucking 8 o'clock this morning, mine's been ready. Packing it, unpacking it, repacking it. I'm going to get sandwiched actually, I'm starved to death. Right, anyway. Yeah. Nice to meet you. And you, mate. All right, I'll lovely. Thanks very much. Send, send all that down, Meg. Um, Are you sure we're going to have Right, all right, mate. <laughs> Cheers, Norm. Take care.